This is John's 1999 Mazda RX-7 and today we're going to be replacing the BC Gold suspension with some Olins that we got from Sake Bomb Garage. FP spec Olins coilovers by Sake Bomb, which I gather is the standard DFE coilover with their custom damping, I think. Um, with I've gone with the slightly lighter spring rates, so the car should be both more comfortable and more capable. So with any luck, this should be a good upgrade. These are the base tools you require. However, I also recommend you add pliers and a flathead screwdriver to this list also. <coughs> there you go. <coughs> the sway bar links can be removed with a couple of 14mm spanners and a bit of gentle persuasion. So what's it like having the biggest banana in town? <laughs> You're weird. So now, the bottom, and you're all to this, we're going to take the top mats, which is just under these little side covers. It should be four bolts in there. Now, these are very easy, particularly the far one, to drop down the side of the inside of the car, which is then a nightmare to get out, so just be careful of that. Just the lower shock mat. Is there another way of doing it? No, that's how I'm taught you to do it. There we go. There you go. Boom. One BC Gold. Shopping. we wound up the Olin so that their length would match that of the BCs. We went as far as counting every single thread numerous times as well as measuring with a ruler just to be extra, extra this secure the that they matched. Oh yeah, no, I didn't drop it at all. Alright, cool, they're finger tight. Not all the way in, but enough, you know. That should be easy to try. Does bum? Like manufacture them or something? Um, I don't know what the deal is, but Saki Bomb, I, my, it might be custom damping or something. Saki Bomb, they sell standard Olins and they also do the FP spec, which is their like special stuff. Yeah. Lift the thing. Yep. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Cool. We're in. Also, by the way, Easy, done. You should always tighten up suspension under load. And not like this. Always under load. This is a super accurate finger test. If only we had a ruler. That's how you put a driver on that side. Safety! <laughs> oh, he says. No, I'm just gonna strip it. Okay, no pew pew. Come on, I've got to fit for one job. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, boy. Alright, so what are we removing? So, we're gonna take off this side of the A-arm. This guy up on here. Yeah, that's coming. So I'm just gonna stop the on the outside. Sorry, I could be quick in the way. No, 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 no. Is the camera in the way? No, no.
It's out. Sorry, we don't do sell drugs in this establishment? Not yet. That's a lie. <laughs> How's it going? Help me. We don't sell drugs. Do you want a motorcycle? Can I interest you? You've got some kind of problem. <laughs> it's not a drug problem, it's a <laughs> two stroke problem. Hey, more than two strokes, and you're playing with the same. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Am I in the middle of a time lapse? No, 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 no. no. So what John has just discovered is the top hat on these do not spin on the fronts and of course the alignment for the bolt on this end doesn't quite line up to the car so he's going to need to twist this end to get it to eventually line up. I'm really good with my terminology but you should know what I mean. Words twist. Twist. Oh, We're just having some twisty business. Did you just say you'll get this all in without touching? Where's the wheel off? Just to start. Are you gonna get some open this one? I mean, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. We'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it. Move the box this way. So close. necessarily want, just to flex the fact you have a clutch. And I want to do, like, the moment it's a manual, I'm getting some Macus trays and I'm going to do a skip. Why do you need Macus trays? It's rear-wheel drive, you knobhead. Oh, fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. My fights are coming. Minor adjustment, so this was the collar that was around the Olins that came factory. Um, however, the collar has got a double, like a double, la double layer on it, and it's, if I can roll the camera down, it's, it's only as thick as one of these, so we can't get the, um, the, the brake thing, I'm really good at my English, like, on, and then have that, uh, I don't even know what you'd call that piece. This like spring clip that you then slot in place. So we're gonna have to just take this collar from the BCs and whip it onto the Olins. All right, cool. So with a bit of faffing about, this is the collar from the BC Golds. And we just tape some electrical tape around the rubber um, just to space it out a little bit because these are much narrower than the BCs. This is loose, so we'll need to tighten that. Um, everything is loose, okay. Um, so yeah, it's all snug and tight now and we've managed to fit this little like shackle thing on and then this is the piece that we needed to just hammer in place. So everything is mint now. It, it's not official, but it's mint.
and see us next time where we will uh, crash or the suspension will fail or hopefully none of those things. hopefully none of those things or we do more stuff on the a or the bike or oh the other vehicles <laughs> <laughs>